Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm back in the video, and today I'm going to be talking about how the Cleveland Cavaliers could be one of the best kept secrets in the entire NBA. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, pretty much what I mean is that I think the Cavs are one of the more underrated, more up and coming teams that not many people are talking about. Because, yes, everybody likes to talk about the Pelicans, everybody likes to talk about other young teams that have bright futures that are looking like they're going to be able to dominate for years to come, but no one really talks about the Cleveland Cavaliers, and that is mainly because, I mean, well, they're Cleveland, and who the hell? wants to talk about Cleveland but also like they don't no one they have like underrated assets that no one really really talks about but I mean yes they have Colin Sexton who people just now started considering a maybe all-star level player but he's been good for years now and pretty much since he got in the league he's been one of the best scorers and he's just improved from there on and he is legit becoming one of the better point guards in the NBA so I'm beginning to every reason why I think Cleveland is very underrated and one of the more up-and-coming teams and I'm beginning to all that in his videos so if you like though a point hit like button and subscribe button in the world me and without further ado without running on too much let's get right into this video so my first reason for his video is going to be their backcourt improving also known as sex land in cleveland because they have colin sexton and darius garland now less like i said earlier a lot of people are talking about colin sexton and rightfully so as through the first 13 games in this year three season of his he is averaging 25.2 points per game 4.2 assists per game on three assists per game with 1.2 steals per game which included a night against brooklyn where he actually had a new career high where he put up 42 points and he looked very very impressive against one of the team's best new super team that it involves James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie. He stepped up to the challenge both nights and was able to win both nights in a row and played very very good and he showed that he can play very good against the pretty much elite level competition. Now the other half of Sexland is well Darius Garland who has slightly improved from his rookie year and he still has tons of time obviously to improve from his rookie year but he's averaging 14 14.3 points per game 2.6 rebounds per game one steal per game and most importantly 5.5 assists per game and the reason that assist is so important is because i mean he's becoming that playmaker they need it desperately out of this backcourt because when they did draft Darius garland to pair with colin sexton no one really knew who's gonna be the playmaker who's gonna be the guy that passes the ball and who's going to be the scorer well i think that's becoming very very clear i think Darius garland is definitely taking the more point guard centric role while colin sexton takes the more scoring role and i think that fits him perfectly because i mean there's garland although being more of the passer and more of the playmaker and getting the offense going type of guy he's still giving you almost 15 points a game and what can you ask more for one of your your main point guard to give you 15 points per game about five six assists a game and then your shooting guard colin sexton to give you around 25 points a game that is very good at scoring and very good passing and ball movement as well and that diversity between point guard and shooting guard is very hard to find in the uh, nba as of right now because very rarely do you see a point guard and a shooting guard be able to do their roles very well garland's only in his second year and is already accepting the role of being a passer and a guy that will get you around 15 points a game so it's not like he's not scoring and i'm not saying he won't ever be a 20 point per game scorer and i mean if he does that would just help cleveland even more if you can get darius garland up to 20 points a game and still averaging around five six assists even maybe seven assists a game and then colin sexton giving you 25 that's 45 points from your backcourt every single night plus what the other young guys and other assets i'll be getting into later in this video well that is tons and tons of just potential and tons of just like great things coming from that backcourt and i think we can expect for many years for sexland to keep improving and really become one of the better backcourts in the entire nba and now my second reason is going to be they have very good young talent now i already got into sexton and garland but even outside of them they still have very strong young talent they have isaac akuro who could potentially be developed into one of the best 3 and d players in the entire nba he's already shown a few flashes in his just rookie season a very young rookie season at that that he can be that guy he's had games where i'm pretty sure he had about 15 points and did very good defensively as well so with that athleticism that defensive presence if he can get that offensive game consistently around 10 maybe 12 points a game he could be one of the best 3 and d players in the nba and that could be huge for this uh cleveland cavaliers team because they have enough scoring when it comes down to sexton and garland that's pretty much gonna be their main scorers for the next few years to come and that's gonna be where their bulk of offense comes from so if they can get a guy that can lock down defensively and still pour in about 12 points a game that would be absolutely huge for him and i think isaac akuro could be a perfect fit for this team and then also another young guy i'm very high on is jared allen allen 
Allen is a guy that not many people talk about at all, but he is extremely underrated and a very young player with tons and tons of upside and potential, especially on the defensive end. As I mean, they pretty much got him for free in this trade, which is ridiculous to me. And I mean, they were able to get him and it's going to help them a ton. He's already shown tons of like help when he comes to protecting the rim and really just getting rebounds and everything for the team and doing all the dirty work that nobody wants to do as he is a very good rebounder and a very good rim protector averaging 11.4 points per game 1.6 blocks per game on 9.1 rebounds per game on 68 percent shooting from the field now yes he's a center and all his shots are layups but that's still extremely efficient shooting from whoever you are if you can shoot around 68 to 70 percent from the field at any position obviously you're scoring at a very very good clip now yes he doesn't shoot the most but he does take very smart shots and to still be giving him around 12 points per game is very very nice and then also 1.6 blocks per game he is becoming one of the best rim protectors in the entire nba and he is still very young and he still has tons of growth to make in that department so i will be have no doubt that one day he will be the, a two three blocks per game type of guy and then also that 9.1 rebounds per game his rebounds are going to steadily increase as well when he gets stronger and more smart where the ball is going to bounce and everything so he can be a a double double machine and also be one of the best rim protectors at this young of an age that is going to be extremely hard to beat when you have a team that backcourt can score at will a small forward who can lock down anybody's best player and a center who can lock down the paint and grab boards and do all the dirty work that nobody wants to do so if they can find a legit four maybe in the draft or maybe in free agency this team would have a legitimate well-rounded great starting five going into the future and now my last reason is that they have a very underrated roster and well rounded team in general as i mean although yes i just mentioned jared allen being such a great center they still have andre drummond who is one of the most underrated players in the entire nba i think he's averaging what 20 uh, points about 13 rebounds or something like that he's an absolute beast in the paint and a very good center at that and he's just been underrated because he's been on the detroit pistons and the cleveland cavaliers let's be honest neither team gets almost any media attention whatsoever that's why he's been one of the more underrated rated under radar guys and if he goes to a contender that team is going to be much much better because he's on it he is one of the more underrated guys and cleveland uses him very very well and i think he helps cleveland a lot and i don't think cleveland has to trade him now it depends what direction they want to go if they're in win now mode you don't trade drummond but if you're still trying to build for the future which i could see them doing then you probably trade drummond and kevin love but once kevin love gets healthy and yes he's still not anywhere as near what he used to be but he's still a good 15 20 20 points per game type of guy and then Andre Drummond a beast in the paint still a very good center and then off your bench you have Seti Osman Jared Allen and players like that well this team is just so well-rounded in every way they could be a legit very hard team to get out in the playoffs and maybe if you really stretch it if they develop perfectly could be a contender five or six years down the stretch if they keep their core of young guys together but unfortunately, you guys, that's me for this video. So comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think Cleveland is legit? Do you think they can win a finals years from down the road? What do you think their ceiling is? Do you think they're underrated? Are any other thoughts in the comment section below? If you did like the video, and point that like button and subscribe button in the absolute world to me. And with all glory to God. Hope you have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. So you have a blessed day. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Boo. Blah, blah.